Meet Sam Henry. Sam is 17 years old and wants to take up a career as a truck driver. Over the past weeks, we have taken Sam out to discover what's involved in getting qualified and taking up this rewarding, varied and potentially diverse career option. Sam spent time in the cab, learnt to drive a forklift and today he's putting a bit more detail on what he's learnt. Today I'm going to have a look at what kind of licence I might need if I want to become a truck driver and check out some pretty flash high-tech equipment. He's come to National Road Carriers to meet Executive Officer for Training, Bert Riley. Hey Sam, I'm Bert from National Road Carriers. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Uh, today we're going to take you around and have a look at a couple of truck companies, uh, LW Bonnie and Sunday on the road. Mm -hmm. But first off, let's go inside. I'll run you over a bit of general information on our industry and probably go over the licensing with you too. Awesome. Okay. One of Bert's jobs is to pair drivers with the right specialist skills for a trucking company's particular job. So he's very well positioned to know just what the industry needs. We badly need people like Sam. The big issue we have is that our drivers are getting older and we're not seeing younger people come through. So one of my major jobs is to actually get out to schools through career guidance officers and promote our industry within the schools. So what sort of kid is the trucking industry looking for? Kids who have an interest in driving, guys and girls who like playing PlayStation, because a lot of the remote control systems and things like that are very similar. If you're into meeting people and getting around the countryside, it's certainly one of those jobs that can do that for you. Generally truck driving is the start of a career, and most guys we see can go all the way through to operations managers, transport managers. So plenty of scope for the future, but where would you start? Simon Kewen is the Auckland Regional Manager for Transquel, the Government Driver Training Organisation. Our first qualification is the National Certificate in Good Service Core Skills, and that enables the candidate to be productive in the workplace. That gives them a Class 2 licence, forklift endorsement, dangerous goods endorsement, um, logbook skills, driver safe, some customer service skills and some spillage response skills. For our truck driving, mm -hmm. your first licence you need is your Class 2. That's a medium rigid, what we call a medium rigid licence. It allows you to drive a truck up to 18 tonne. Uh, the second one is a class three, the Grace Combination Weight. It's a truck and trailer basically put between 12 tonne and 25 tonne. Uh, the next one is class four. It's between 18 tonne and 25. It's a heavy rigid vehicle we call it. And the last one where all the demand is a class five. It allows you to drive a truck over 25 tonne, a truck and trailer type unit, you know, up to about 44 tonne. So armed with the facts of trucking life, Sam's off to put it to the test. Alrighty, that one rolling past there Sam, what do you yep. reckon that one is? Uh, class 5. Class 5, well yep. done. What about this one over here? Uh, could be even a class 4. Class 4? Excellent. Yep. Yep. A little flyweight, it's a normal car licence for that one. As opposed to this one here, it's another... Another big class five. Yep. Well, the wheels of commerce are certainly on a roll here, so to slow things down, Sam's headed up the road for a closer look at some state-of-art trucks. So, um, what's special about this truck? Automatic transmission, 16 speed, uh, ABS plus EBS, electronic brake system. Now this, this container, what's it designed to carry? This one here is for hot and cold liquid product. If we just lean across here and throw this switch, that lifts up our safety rails at the top there, you know, making sure we're not going to lose any drivers over the side. Ah, oh, true, true. And we've got a specialist turntable here. Yep. The thing with liquid freight is you need to, not only to move up and down that way, but also sideways. Otherwise they become rigid and you start damaging vehicles. Okay. It's more involved than just actually just truck driving. There's a whole lot of skills you have to learn and apply. That's right, Sam. So does that make the job more interesting? Oh, of course. Otherwise, you're just driving a truck. A lot of the satisfaction comes from actually knowing what you're doing with your freight and how, how you deal with your customers. All right, yeah. This truck, a Class 4, is known as a double axle curtain slider. It's one of the most useful trucks on the road. The flexible curtains allow easy access for the accurate positioning of all manner of heavy loads. So, what's special about this particular truck and trailer unit? This truck and trailer unit, Sam, is set up specifically for what we call bulk tipping. Um, it's a tipper unit. It's stretched out to run on the road, um, otherwise your, your weight gets all thrown out. 
um, but then you have to close it up to be able to tip. Typical product delivered in this vehicle over here is, for example, could be barley from the South Island. It's brought up for Dominion Breweries. So it basically just saves time when you tip it up and straight yeah. out. And the efficiency drives are what we're after. Skills that we require to, to drive this vehicle, you really got to know some basic principles about hydraulics. This is another specialised truck, this for shipping containers. An onboard swing lift can lift the load operated by remote minutes. control. Do you mind showing me what that, uh, that, that, the box of trucks you got there? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's just like PlayStation or yeah. Xbox. I reckon right. a lot of training on that before you try this on. But anybody good at that will find this fun. There's some very sophisticated trucks and equipment out there that our drivers are using today. A lot of it's driven by the customer demand and what they're after and changes in technology for efficiency drives and worse of it. But truck driving is not just about sophisticated equipment. People skills, very important. You must be able to take the knocks, I suppose, if it's one way to put it. It's a very pressured industry. Uh, people's freight is always late as far as they're concerned. If you're a person that uh, has a short temper, um, not only will it show with your customer service, but it'll probably show in the way you drive as well and we certainly don't need any more bad drivers on our road. Someone like Sam's ideal for our industry is a full car license at age 17. He's done a defensive driving course. Um, he's got the right attitude and certainly has the interest that we're looking for to bring young people into our industry via the modern apprenticeships. Oh yeah, I could definitely see myself, you know, two weeks on the road driving the big tanker. Pretty flash, look pretty comfortable. You never know, one day you might still be driving down that road. <laughs> Yep. To get a class 2 learner licence you must have held a full class 1 licence for at least 6 months, present a medical certificate and pass a theory test. In addition to holding the relevant licence for the vehicle you are driving, you may also need to hold a relevant endorsement, for example, for dangerous and hazardous goods. There are national certificates available for a wide range of commercial transport driving. Career driver, perishable products, livestock and logging are just some. Job prospects for commercial drivers are very good. There's also many opportunities to progress on to become an owner operator or to other jobs such as transport manager. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.